Hey, right, hey, I'm Bongo John. I'm here to show how to utilize Cubase 11 to work with Machine 2, which is a loop based instrument. I can hold multiple instruments, loops, and a plethora of sounds, whatnot, one shots, and samples, and MIDI, and audio uh, in Cubase 11. Uh, and so I'm going to create a new project and then be able to route all your sounds to individual outputs, right? Which is a cool feature. And to be able to print, ideally, <laughs> make it happen as far as uh, the audio outputs to actual wave files, actual audio, right? That you can manipulate with more ease after the fact. Ooh, that wasn't easy to say all at once. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to go here. We're going to go to new project. We're going to go empty. We're going to label this as uh, keys uh, 12 or M machine, M-A-S-C-H, machine 12, 28, 20. Right. Then we're going to go in here and create instrument machine two is what i'm loading right we're gonna add track we're gonna go here we've got machine loaded we're gonna press record and loop and we're gonna rewind the top and we're gonna load a sound we're gonna browser we're gonna load uh, not a loop to start with but an instrument see that instrument and we're gonna go to battery just to kind of demonstrate here we're gonna pull up a kit these are these are loops based on the kit, so, uh, but these are the sounds that are in, in there, okay? So we're gonna go with three, uh, this one, right? Which is the three on it kit, I think, or three on it kit, all right. So we have these sounds, right? Right, so we're gonna make this loop however long, we're not sure yet, but this will automatically, this will automatically adjust for your loop. So we're gonna go in here, rewind, and just press play. You're not, not recording in Cubase. It's within machine that the re recording light and the loop is on for those co that combination. So we go here. Okay. Okay, so it started over. It's playing. It's not perfect, right? Right. So I'm gonna quantize it. So I go in here to in the pattern, right? And uh, we're gonna grab that whole area. I'm gonna hold quantize and go 50% or 100%. We're gonna go 100%. Right. Then we're gonna go over here. And we're gonna load another sound. All right, my brows. I might want to add a hi hat to the other track. We're gonna add a hi hat to the track. So we go back here. All right. Then we're gonna quantize it. We go pattern. Right. Okay, so now that's in there. Right? So we have that loop going. Right? Then we're going to the next sound. This is all within one pattern of scene one, group A1, which can be arranged in this mode. Right? Which we're not playing now. We're designing our loops right now. From browse, we're going to add a. Synthesizer or something, bass, I don't know. We're gonna find something that's, uh... Running Aquarius into sound two.
right? I want to quantize that. See that it's right there. And you can zoom in and right here and see that it's been quantized. You'll see it. You can tell that all the notes are spot on. Right. Okay. So I go to the next sound and we're gonna browse. Try kinetic toys. We'll try that. Okay. I play, you know, I'm just improvising. All right, we're going here, quantize. pattern is selected for full pattern now we're going to add a sound four okay so browse We want to add some like prism. Uh, bass line here, more so, or something to accentuate the bass that's there. The bassy sound of the Aquarius. That. Okay, so, so there's our loop, right? Basic loop. We might add a, an additional sound, like a sample instead of MIDI, right? I'm going to do that. So I'm going to play it. So instead of instruments, we'll add a, uh, a loop. and a little bit different kind of compliments. We're going to lower the volume of it. Kind of like that, right? Maybe raise this up a little bit. This one's a little loud. All right, so there we go. Now we're going to go out of mixer. We're going to minimize this. Okay, so now, next step. We have all, our, all of it's coming out of one output. There's, for a recording engineer, that's really frustrating not to be able to, you know, mix all that and, and having to do it within machine would be a pain and there's not really much in the way of automation, et cetera, controls to do that in machine. So what we'll do is we're gonna go here and activate outputs, right? We're gonna activate six outputs just to be on the safe side we activate all these right I just do that right or rewind I'm gonna take a look at those outputs oh, here we go now we have our mix console right so we went into routing right we have uh, machine which is uh, machine 2 right that's our MIDI out MIDI in we don't need that. This is really not necessary. That. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to go in here and we've got our outputs, right? 
Well, we've got one, two, three, four, five. And I think that in machine, just to make sure, we have in here one, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. Cool. So we're going to go in here and close that for a moment. It's still open in the background. That's kind of a misnomer programming. But uh, we're going to go to the other page. And we're going to go all the way down here. I'm going to right click and we're going to go add group channel to selected channels. And we're going to create five of them. Five. Okay. And then we're going to add that. Now we have these. Now we're going to create five audio tracks. Okay. We're going to create five audio tracks. Stereo. They are already stereo. Okay. And we're not going to worry about that just yet. So we're going to create five audio tracks. All right. Now we have this to see more easily. We're going to do this. All right. So now we're going to go into our audio tracks. And assign our groups. However, we still have to go into machine. four and then five still have to go into machine and assign our outputs right so we're gonna go here back to the other page again and click on machine but we're gonna go here into machine now we need to click this right here go into three on kit we're gonna go here and go extension One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Now, here's the thing. You still have to route one more thing. Group one. This should be group two. This should be group three. This should be group four. And this should be group five. There we go. All right. So you're going, okay, that's all fine and dandy. Right? But now, okay, so we, now we have individual outs, right? of out of machine that we can add effects to, you know, go in here and, you know, tweak it out. We've got inserts. We can add a, we can add something to that track. You know, we can go here and add a reverb or something or a delay. Delay might be cool, you know. So it's a creative palette. It's creative poetic license, however you want to go. Whoa. Just, you know, showing for example. I might try something like a. No. Uh, we're going to stick with 16s. Okay, we got that. This track, bass. Try a loading up a bass here, bass plug in, changing it up, having fun with it. <laughs> All right, going to the next track, add some reverb. Right. Okay. I'm going to 
Power Group 4. Got to sell with that. There's the other bass, right? Kind of a more definitive bass. There's actually a bass sound, um, more so. And then we're going to add some, I don't know, let's, let's try some chorusing. So let's go to modulation and chorus it up. All right. Anyway, I'm just, you know, as example. So we've got group five, which is this drum kind of loop. That was the loop, not the MIDI, but the loop, audio loop. And we're going to add, uh, hmm, we'll try some uh, spatial panner, right? We're going down here in Imager. Hey, that's nice. That works. Okay, so. Okay, so that's what we have. And let's just say we've finished our mix. We've got everything where we want. Maybe pan this a little to the left and pan this to the right. Right. We got our mix, and we want to print the tracks to audio. Right. And we go back to the other page. Right. We go back to the other page here, and we are going to actuate our audio tracks, All right? We rewind, and we are gonna print audio. Pretty cool, huh? So there you go. That is audio being individual tracks going into, well, coming out of machine, going into regular old audio tracks in Cubase is way cool because then if you want to tweak it more you can with audio okay, so I'll let it go for a little bit more right so then now we mute our groups that's important and we do that by just muting all of this you don't have to mute machine because it's already routed a different way and we rewind and we go here the audio. There's first track with effect. It's kind of distorted, uh, funky distortion bass driven plug in. There's that. Right. We have this. Right. It's all individualized. So there you go. Hope that helped you out there in internet land or wherever you may be. Um, so um, I'm signing off for today. So that's that's pretty much it as far as for Cubase 11 Pro. You can't do it in an artist or uh, as far as I know that you're limited to how many tracks you can you can press like this as far as the number of outputs that you can route as group in your Cubase version. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right, everybody. Take care now. Bye-bye.